okay guys basically okay guys so basically I'm back so the next part uh, once we have our modeling done uh, now basically we're going to uh, give it a texture so if you look at a normal shampoo bottle you, need, you have a label and here down here right um, so the trick is like this so basically um, pressing F4 I'm going to duplicate the body since I want to place the uh, label in the middle here okay and I have a label which is uh, this one over here it might not be the nicest label in the world but it is just for an example so um, yeah I'm going to duplicate this by holding my shift and I'm just going to move it in front a bit okay you're going to pop up this press copy shampoo body uh, label just going to name that label okay just going to give it a different temporary color just to differentiate which one is which okay so okay what we want right now is actually I want to basically go back to my turbo smooth here and off the isoline display so I can see the actual amount of polygon on the 3D surface before I start collapsing it or merging the these two uh, modifiers together so once I have uh, make sure I have turned this off I'm going to either right click and convert it to editable poly again or I'm going to right click on the turbo smooth here since it's the top layer I'm going to go to collapse 2 okay so I'm going to choose uh, collapse 2 you give a warning yada 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 just click yes it might switch to editable mesh if you switch back to editable mesh don't worry just convert here again to editable poly alright okay now what I'm going to do now is uh, the reason why I, I'm merging it together instead of just leaving it there is because uh, if I because what I want right now is just the the middle part here let me just show you just switch to the left view uh, what I want is actually to select this part and front view I'm going to hold control and select Okay, wait, undo again. Wait, turn here. Okay, going back to perspective, press P and delete this. Alright, okay. So, the reason why I have to do this is because that if I delete the polygon, it will maintain the curve the same as the, same as, um, the one that is the original body here okay like that fit in very nicely okay let me just show you if I didn't do that let's say if I copy one more just say the wrong version okay it's a bit blue and I'm going to just uh, go to my polygon level and say hey might as well I just delete this one at least I still got my uh, servo smooth there but that is where you will be wrong oops okay let me see I've got not enough polygon here why don't I select this and use a connect smooth this up a bit you know it's just for the label same thing here yeah. and just delete this part and this part okay I have my low polygon and I still have my turbo smooth but that is where you're wrong because when turbo smooth when you try to translate this polygon it won't be as accurate as the original if I bring it in front 
you see that it won't fit nice there you see there will be a tear that we are going through here because uh, because of the nature of the turbos, turbos moves because the original one have like other polygons to translate it so yeah this one right so use the, the first method I show you which is this one so now that I have labeled what I'm going to do now is just press M or press this one material editor press M right I showed you before uh, just for the body I'm just going to give just a plain same color for this two so this will be the cap and this one would be Z body okay Z body right on. just gonna piece it there I'm just gonna give like some sort of a light blue okay maybe the the cap will be a, like a dark blue you yeah. know right so over here down at the specular level is where I want to just put a little bit of shiny effects there ok 43, 22 maybe I maintain the same thing 43, 22 ok just render that a bit uh, it looks a bit nicer and for the label here I'm going to give the third material slot here uh, just name the label ok but right now I'm just going to give a temporary I'm not going to give it yet um, because we haven't done the unwrap yet so now I'm going to unwrap this label so that I can bring to Photoshop and put it here Alright, okay, going back to 3D Max, I'm gonna apply the way you should apply any modifier is that you don't apply it while you're down at the sub object level because when you apply any modifier here, um, basically that modifier on top is going to be influenced by the sub object. We don't want that. Make sure we are at the editable poly where it's the uh, it's the most uh, what call it the overall lay overall uh, it controls all the sub object is the most is the general editable poly level here so it applies to all of the elements down here all right so going to apply an unwrap like that okay and when you apply the unwrap you see this green line outline here we don't want that. Uh, basically that is uh, the default that 3d max give it says the seam that 3d max give okay uh, if you want to know just google seams s e a m and c over here seam and find out what that means seam is like if you make clothing you somehow will have seam because that will be the part where you will have stitches you know to join different pieces together all right because clothes are not made of one uh, one piece of um, basically cloth uh, all right because it's actually several pieces just stitched together and that stitch is what you call seam all right okay so basically now uh, just get rid of the green line by uh, go down here at the show map seam and take that and it disappeared um, so it's Unwrapping the label is more easier because we don't have to use a point to point to make the seam because it's just a flat surface like that unless you want to unwrap the whole bottle where you need to figure out where you should cut it open uh, so for the label it's more easier go to face just select all polygons I'm going to go shortcut by pressing this instead of selecting all just going to pick one and hit this button H face selection to seams so it will select all of this label so now I'm going to jump into pelt pelt tool we're going to start the simulation and then stop and commit alright uh, if you look at it right now if I on the checker pattern you see that 
it is not an equal square meaning that your texture will be stretched so you're going to fix that by relaxing the surface of the polygons by going to 